Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui, Hawaii, and I know I'm losing my light behind me. It was a beautiful sunset. I've been doing a few videos tonight, but I just want to talk to you about what to do when you're heartbroken with CFS. And you know, if you're in a situation where your heart has been broken, my heart goes out to you. Um, I know that many people lose partners because of CFS, that they don't understand why their partner, you know, why you're sick or what's going on. They're not educated. And it can put you in a very difficult situation. So I've had some heartbreaks along the way during my recovery. And so I just want to share with you just a couple of things that have helped me on the path. And I think the first thing is to recognize that with chronic fatigue syndrome comes that fight or flight response. So your reaction and your heart rate could actually be intensified due to the illness. And so just acknowledging that and recognizing that gives us a little bit of hope that, you know what, this is a bad situation, but the trauma that I'm feeling is in part this chronic fatigue syndrome cycle. What can happen is we can get caught in very cyclical negative thought cycles. That is not the illness, but that is a byproduct of it. And so basically just being aware of that and recognizing that, you know, it's not just me just trying to fight this. It's actually the illness that's creating a lot of this excessive drama in the situation can help. So it might be more intensified what you're going through than someone who might be going through it without it. And for that reason, you need a lot of compassion. So the next thing would be to be compassionate towards yourself. Recognize that you deserve love and you are worthy of love, no matter what's happened in your life, from whatever people have treated you or whatever they've done, you are worthy of love. And the best way to take to show yourself that is to demonstrate love to yourself. Whether that means just going in and lighting a candle and giving yourself a face massage and listening to your favorite music, that's a form of self-love. So do things that will actually demonstrate love to yourself so you're almost looking at yourself as a second person and embracing yourself and letting yourself know that you understand how difficult this is and that you're going to be there for you. That might sound very strange, but it's very important to support ourselves when we go, when we go through a difficult time with CFS. The third thing I would highly recommend is check out Brad Ray Yates on YouTube for some EFT. Because when you're going through some emotional trauma or some loss, it really helps to help clear those emotions so that you can um, at least have some release of it. You know, it's good to release that. The next thing would be to speak the truth that you need to speak to whoever has brought this hurt into your life. Be sure to be clear and make sure that you've expressed what's in your heart and what you need to say, whether that's by an email, writing it, or speaking to the person directly. And, you know, a lot of that can just be even an unsent letter. If that needs to be the situation, if they are not a safe person to share with, just write it in an unsent letter. And that can help alleviate some of the weight that's on you by getting it out, expressing it. The next thing to remember is that the memories are state dependent. And so what that means is when you're going through a difficult time, it's really easy and well, it's hard to remember good times. And so if you're in a very difficult time, everything may look dismal from your past to your future. But just knowing that, that this is a state that you're in and it actually is causing your memories to be very dismal or your future look, outlook can actually help relieve that a little bit if you can just say, okay, I'm just going to hang on and this too shall pass and I will get through this. So basically, you know, I just want to encourage you because I know I used to call my driveway that I would walk when I did my, you know, three minute to 10 minute walks. I called that my driveway of tears because I cried a lot. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of hurt. And it's very important to release that, but to recognize when we get caught in loops, in those cyclical thoughts, and we need to step outside of that and take care of ourselves and be the adult kind of in the situation. Look at yourself as a child and know that you can nurture yourself 
and you can be good to yourself. So anyway, Warriors, I hope that those strategies will help you if you're facing any kind of heartbreak during recovery. And just know that you can come through. You will come through this. I just need to add this last bit in because it wouldn't be complete for me without doing it. Because really what's helped me through endure heartbreak is knowing that God is on my side and that he's going to see me through. There's a beautiful verse that says, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. So if you're feeling crushed in spirit or brokenhearted, I hope you'll take this as an opportunity to reach out to God, to call out to him. And I hope and I believe that if you do, I know that if you do, you'll find the comfort that he provides and the refuge that he is as such a help through these challenging times. So, Warriors, I hope that this has helped, that these strategies will serve you. I want to remind you that life isn't over. It's starting again, and I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. So if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell if you'd like to receive notifications whenever I put out a video. And uh, also look me up on Facebook. You can find me with the forum, CFS Warriors Forum and CFS Warriors page. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the other side.